अगली राजनीति ओवर पीएफआई बैन फ्रॉम द समाजवादी पार्टी टू कांग्रेस पॉलिटिक्स एस्कलेट्स ओवर बैन इस्लामोफोबिया अटैक बाय द समाजवादी पार्टी इस तरीके से बैंड लगने लगेगा तो फिर जाते हैं तो खत्म हो जाएगा ऐसे अब इन्होंने लगा दिया अब मेरी राय में तो इन्हें मुनासिब है बीजेपी टॉन्ट्स कांग्रेस का हाथ पीएफआई के साथ दिस सॉफ्ट कॉर्नर फॉर टेररिज्म हैज बिन सीन टाइम एंड अगेन फ्रॉम दिस इको सिस्टम ऑफ सर्टन पोलिटिकल पार्टीज कांग्रेस ज्वाइंस द पैन आर एस एस कोरस समाज दल अशांति उंटमार विरुद्ध क्रम तक नमदेन विरोध इला नंबर वन वाई पॉलिटिक्स ओवर पीएफआई बैन दैट्स अ टॉप फोकस ऑन इंडिया फर्स्ट The radical Islamist organization Popular Front of India has been banned for five years, along with eight of its associated entities, including the Campus Front of India, that was at the forefront of the hijab controversy. The organization has disbanded itself. But is this Muslim appeasement politics that some compare this ban to Islamophobia? Pakistan incidentally has dived into this controversy with its consulate in Canada seeking international support of United Nations Human Rights Council for this radical Islamist outfit Pakistan support we can understand but does domestic support show how deep is the rot I'm got of seven we debate but first is always the headlines India bans the Popular Front of India for 5 years for terror funding and conducting terror training politics escalates Congress RJD left and AIMIM say similar action should be taken against RSS and right wing Hindu outfits Dig Vijay Singh throws his hat in the ring for the election of Congress party president suspends bills on the future of Ashok Gehlot Shashi Tharoor set to file his nomination on the 30th of September India gets its second chief of defense staff lieutenant general Anil Chauhan succeeds general Bipin Rawat as the country's top military officer Two big arrests in two days in Delhi liquor gate scandal after the Aam Aadmi Party's communication chief Vijay Nair, Manish Sisodia's aide Samir Mahendra arrested, Arvind Kejriwal alleges political vendetta. Center extends the free ration scheme for the next three months, 80 crore. poor indians to benefit 10000 crore for transformation of indian railways also announced by the cabinet india today was the first channel to tell you of what was in store for the radical islamist outfit the popular front of india we were way ahead of others when we told you that the axe is about to fall on the popular front of india and early this morning the center finally banned pfi for a period of 5 years under stringent unlawful activities prevention act as always we bring you the news first fastest the updates most credible as the clamor for a ban on the radical organization pfi grows there's been a huge part 2 crackdown pan india many of those raids and detentions are still currently on as we bring you this live broadcast amid operation octopus and midnight raids india today was the first to tell you of what was in store the center's acts for radical islamist popular front of india india today was bang on when center banned the pfi for 5 years under the stringent unlawful activities law Eight of PFI-linked groups too faced the ban. 
They include the Campus Front, Imam Council, Rehab India Foundation. जिसके खिलाफ सबूत मिलते जाएंगे उसी के खिलाफ कार्रवाई करेंगे हम किसी ऐसे संगठन या ऐसे व्यक्ति के खिलाफ पूर्वाग्रह से ग्रस्त होकर के कोई कार्रवाई नहीं करते The center cited PFI radicalization plots, its links to global terror groups like ISIS and Al Qaeda, acts of terror and crimes including fanning hijab stir, CAA unrest and profit fire, illegal overseas fund flow and illicit foreign links, chopping hands of a Kerala professor, murder of RSS linked individuals, and plotting suicide bomb attack to justify the sweeping ban. State governments will take uh, further action as deemed fit as per the Act, Unlawful Activity Act. We will take action as deemed fit after the notifications are issued. Dozens of PFI cadre are in custody for radicalization plots, violent protests, and links to terror groups. Doing all anti-national activities and time had come to ban this organization and this is, this is a message for all the anti-national groups that they will not survive doing anti-national activity in this country. This is uh, a very very welcoming move. I'd like to express our gratitude to Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah for this uh, bold action. While MNS workers celebrated and distributed sweets, security was tightened nationwide at PFI offices. Union Home Ministry, except for SDPI, which is the political outfit of the uh, popular front of India and that is why you could see uh, the policemen stationed right here outside the PFI's national headquarter. Will the PFI ban help India's fight on terror or will it lead PFI to regroup itself under a different name? Bureau Report, India Today. But hours after the ban on this radical Islamist outfit, politics escalated. Opposition parties started calling for a ban on the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh, party after party, neta after neta, called the action against Popular Front of India one-sided. The Sangh slammed the comparison with PFI. The BJP accused political parties of shielding a radical Islamist group for vote bank politics. इस पर प्रतिबंध लगाना देश के लिए स्वागत योग्य कदम आज प्रतिबंध लगाकर समय के अनुकूल प्रभावी कदम उठाया है उनके इस कदम का अभिनंदन करते हैं जो भी रैडिकलाइजेशन और एक्सट्रीमिज्म की तरफ किसी को लेकर जाता है उसको अपोज करने की जरूरत है रेडिकलाइजेशन हर तरफ हो रहा है वाई नॉट आर एस एस ऑल्सो दैट इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस केस अ बैन टर्न्स इन टू अ फोकल पॉइंट ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स द बीजेपी लेट सेंटर्स क्रैक डाउन ऑन द पी एफ आई हैज ब्रॉड द सैफ्रन पार्टी एंड मोस्ट ऑफ इट्स ओपोनेंट्स फेस टू फेस लीडर्स ऑफ द एंटी बीजेपी ब्लॉक फाउंड द बैन ऑन द पी एफ आई to be one sided they turned their heat on the rss claiming that it too deserved similar treatment pfi ka jaanch ho raha hai aur pfi ke tarah jitne bhi sangathan hai including rss isa par pratiban lagaiye former chief minister and congress leader in karnataka echoed similar views in kerala congress leader and mla ramesh chennitala insisted his party opposed communal extremism by the majority and minorities alike minority communalism and majority communalism both are dangerous they are the same uh, two sides of the uh, same coin 
so we the secular forces should come forward and fight against the terrorist activities of both why not rss also that is also important in this case in bihar the ruling jdu demanded the center take similar measure against the sank shri r k singh sahab hai wo ek samay mein grih sachiv hua karte the aur grih sachiv ke roop mein unhone ek bayan diya hai on record ki r s s के दस लोगों के खिलाफ आतंकवादी होने के साक्ष उपलब्ध है उस पर केंद्र सरकार को भी विचार करना चाहिए द समाजवादी पार्टी इन उत्तर प्रदेश कॉल्ड द बैन ऑन द पी एफ आई एंड असोल्ट ऑन डेमोक्रेसी पार्टी एमपी शफीकुर रहमान बर्क अलेज द एक्शन अगेंस्ट द आउटफिट वॉज अनरीजनेबल इस तरीके से फ्रेंड लगने लगेगा तो प्रजातन को खत्म ऐसे अब इन्होंने लगा दिया अब मेरी राय में तो ये नाम मुनासिब है एम आई एम कॉल्ड द बैन अनफेयर एंड यू ए पी एज डेटरमेंट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रिंसिपल्स वाइल हैव ऑलवेज अपोज पी एफ आई इज एक्सट्रीम एंड रेडिकल अप्रोच आई हैव ऑलवेज सपोर्टेड डेमोक्रेटिक अप्रोच दिस बैन ऑन पी एफ आई के नॉट बी सपोर्टेड because actions of some individuals who commit crime does not mean that the organization itself should must be banned jo bhi radicalization aur extremism ki taraf kisi ko lekar jata hai usko oppose karne ki zarurat hai aur agar aap ye keh rahe hain ki radicalization sirf ek taraf ho raha hai nahi radicalization har taraf ho raha hai the bjp and the rss hit back at its critics with full force calling them the appeasers of anti national forces rss par ungli uthana yani ek kism se samvidhan ka apman hai loktantra ka apman hai manavta ka apman hai shanti aur sadbhav ka virodh hai upa ke sarkar ke samay mein bhi ye jankari thi ki ye ek hinsak sanstha hai samvidhan ko nahi manti hai rashtradrohi hai प्रो पाक या विदेशी षड्यंत्र के समर्थक है हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद के बजाय पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद के नारे लगाते हैं कांग्रेस का हाथ पीएफआई के साथ कांग्रेस का हाथ हमेशा देश विरोधी ताकतों के साथ आज फिर से कांग्रेस पार्टी उस पर सियासत कर रही है राष्ट्र नीति और राष्ट्र सुरक्षा पर राजनीति कर रही है जो की उनका चरित्र रहा है अनर्गल तर्क दे रहे हैं आरोप प्रत्यारोप कर रहे हैं दूसरे संगठनों को इसमें लाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ताकि पीएफआई को protection of cover fire diya ja sake politics on a high drive some took an unambiguous stand some a middle path some others chose to stay quiet for their own political compulsions more so when elections loom in key states bureau report india today so let's try and make some sense of this overt and covert support that this radical islamist outfit pfi continues to get is political interest larger than national interest joining me on india first is dr ajoy kumar national spokesperson of the congress party he is a former super cop himself shubhrasta is a political analyst has campaigned in a way uh, for the ban on radical islamist outfits asif hussein sohail is a political analyst and asif sohail i want to begin by asking you is this ban <coughs> islamophobia is this othering of victimizing indian muslims see uh, gorav uh, pfi has nothing to do the muslim they neither represent the muslim community and i, I always say that rss vh p bajrang dal they never they also they don't uh, represent hinduism also see if they, the action has been taken in the interest of safety and security of india i welcome this move but see earlier also there was a ban on uh, pfi in the jharkhand but uh, the high court has quashed the case let the investigation investigation goes on you know if they are seriously involved they are they should be behind the bars and uh, along with them see i appeal to the government of india there should be a clear investigation on rss B, uh, bhp 
and uh, Bajrang Dal and VHP also on the all the radical organization. Uh, they, see this radical organization, they never represent any uh, uh, religion or the community. So let's okay. not make a Hindu Muslim on this. That, that's I'm glad theory. you say and so. I'm Very heartening to hear that RSS one side, PFI does not represent Muslims. I'm glad you've said so. Because I'm, I'm surprised when I hear some political leaders say this is othering the Indian Muslim. Shubrasta, respond to those who say, one, this is Islamophobia, two, ban the RSS, two. I think, uh, Gaurav, last time on your very channel, this whole false parallel was being drawn between the RSS and the PFI, and that time PFI was not banned. Now, let us understand a couple of things fundamentally. I don't think RSS has ever shied away from saying it's a nationalist organization. And please correct me if I'm wrong and tell me, when ever has a PFI in the past declared its nationalist credentials? Has it ever said that it believes in the constitution of India? Has it ever swore its allegiance to the constitutional values that India stands by? Rather, it has always worked against it. Since 2010, when the T.J. Joseph case actually brought PFI to the notorious fame that it has, reports after reports have been submitted to the government of the day, which was the Congress government at the center. Nothing was done about it. Why did we wait 12 years? Today, I mean, all spokespersons of the Congress across all channels have been lauding the government effort to ban the PFI. Okay. My question is, why did you not ban the PFI for all these let years? Me, let me when, take you this. Know, the evidence was right I'm, there, I'm, staring I'm, I'm, in the I'm face. Surprised also, to hear. let me take also, this to Dr. Ajay point. Kumar. Simi was banned by... Yes. I'm surprised Simi to hear banned. that the no, RSS just, is a just nationalist one small organization. Point. Simi was okay. banned by... Go on, Subhrasta, complete your point. Simi was banned. No, you should do some research. You should do some research. You know, you should do some research. Visit the website. I'm not here to give you a general knowledge, uh, you know, a primer right now. My Madam, question I, is very I, I simple. One by one, 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 one by one, no cross talk, please. Uh, in, when no Simi was me. banned, I, I can't. I don't understand why Why are you heckling? Why are you heckling? Why are you heckling? Why are you heckling? I didn't speak. Madam, I am not the student of Nagpur University. I don't speaking. have to heckle. You get your turn, you to One by one. Go on, ma'am. Gaurav, if this is how it is going to continue, it, uh, yeah. it, this C is not com right. No, complete your point, ma'am. I am not going to take personal jibes lying low. I am asking a question to Dr. Ajoy that when Simi was banned by the Congress party, did they not know that the leaders of Simi will gather together parallelly and form PFI? This is a revelation that has been made by Congress spokesperson on other channels as well. So my question is, when the then governments were in the know-how, why did they allow the wound to fester for so long? Let me take this to Dr. Ajay Kumar. Sir, the BJP says Congress had the opportunity to ban this radical Islamist outfit, PFI, but chose not to do so. Instead, in Karnataka, the allegation is cases against PFI cadres were withdrawn. BJP alleges that instead of outright criticism of PFI, Congress also is drawing a false parallel with the Sangh. So, a couple of points. First of all, the education of Subrata Ji, I won't even attempt. When we banned so many uh, Lashkar Toiba, uh, Indian Mujahideen, all these people, did we say, why did Vajpayee ban it? It's part of the political process. We banned RSS also. After Mahatma Gandhi's death, RSS was banned. They were, they were banned at that time. RSS was banned. Why do you say, why didn't we, why don't, no, one second, let me complete. If Nathuram Godse was a part of the RSS, we should have continued banning the RSS. So this whole specious argument, Gaurav, is so low level that it's, it's embarrassing. Simi, let's go by Simi. Simi was banned, the ban was lifted, the court overruled it, then again the UPA government went and got it banned. Did Congress know that it was PFI or not? Why didn't you ban Indian Mujahideen when Mr. Uh, Mr. Vajpayee was the Prime Minister? He didn't ban the Lashkar e Toiba. We did the banning. So this time, every government does it on its particular time. First, let me complete. Second issue is on the on the whether it is the PFI, whether it is the majority crank elements like that sing, nursing on us. What's your view on nursing on the Subrastaji? What is your view on the Dharam Sansad which said uh, uh, asked for a genocide of the minority? You tell me clearly. I said PFI absolutely correct to ban them. Go after them, any kind of uh, radicalism. What is your view on the Dharam Sansad which said that Muslims should be uh, killed? What is your view on, uh, on the Narsingarand? Then please enlighten me that, that uh, who claims on behalf of Hindus, Hindu Sadh Bhavna, 
that he should we should eradicate the minorities of this country bfi hateful semi whatever be the any kind of radical politics okay. is hateful yeah but god let me complete the rss was propagating with mahatma gandhi that they were banned by the sardar who statue them okay by the by the same sardar who statue they made and swear by my question is organizations evolve but in india today i want to know the political analyst under the garb of political analyst subrasta ji she should openly say she is for the rss and bjp and i don't mind it it will okay. give me more dignity in discussing but the important sir, part is equal dignity no, in, no, in, no, in no, discussing with all my guests no, no, with due respect sir with due respect okay, so, but subrasta ji apologies apologies sir. apologies, apologies please sir, i'm very sorry my question is i would like to enlighten with subrasta ji's view on the nursing anand kind of policy sir made that point shubhrasta kindly respond and what do you make of the support of pfi or the parallel being drawn with the rss and bajrang dal and do respond to dr ajay kumar raising that point about the dharm sansads that call for mass violence or targeting a particular minority community ma'am you know gaurav i am so appalled by all the congress persons specious and uh, extremely baseless attacks on me my education the title with which i come uh, you know at various the, the introduction with which i come to various debates when they do so much of research on who i am then they should they should ask their teams to research on the kind of tweets i put out and the kind of statements that i have made against not just swami narsimhanand but any person kuldeep singh sengar i was the only person from the alleged allegedly bjp supportive camp who raised a campaign and ensured that sengar is out of the party So what is Mr. Ajay Kumar doing? I am not. I am not a politician who is pandering to a particular vote bank. I am not somebody who is going to go to Kerala and okay. say that it is majoritarianism, which is sort of taking over and you know banning the PF. I am not somebody to make that statement. So, Mr. Uh, Dr. Ajay, you have come from such a high pedigree of uh, you know bureaucratic uh, experience and education and all of that. Learn to respect that and learn to give. your fellow panelists the similar degree of respect but because if you're not comfortable you. with my identity don't come to debates with me i no no hold on i'm not going to no no i'm i'm sorry whether it is okay. you or whether it is okay. sohel on the other end i'm not going to take this as a woman lying low i'm really sorry it might be a culture in your party to just label somebody and move on i'm not i asked a very specific question ma'am absolutely and you did make that the bjp i'm not going to say that dr ajay kumar did a lot of but if we could the bjp put out a press conference by your party i'm not here to i'm not going to absolutely take it dr ajay kumar is also taking this point but i want to bring in asif so you have a very good thing dr bihari was his government speak learn to speak like a pan absolutely i'm okay on only asif sohail only asif sohail ma'am that points been made and effectively made i'm not going to take any tuition okay Asif Sohail, if this radical Islamist organization was such a <coughs> nationalist organization, why would a country so hostile to India, like Pakistan, a state sponsor of terror, cry foul when PFI is banned? And we'll just put out that that tweet that's been put out by the Pakistani consulate in Vancouver. You know, Pakistan criticizes RSS, but when PFI is banned, Pakistan sheds tears. Sir, that again should give you an idea about who's good and who's bad in <coughs> India's interest. Why would Pakistan have PFI? Gaurav, uh, through your channel, I want to uh, convey a message to the Pakistan government: should not interfere in Indian matters. You know, that's a personal safety issue, security issue. We know how to handle it. And second thing, Madam has said the RSS is a nationalist party. Yes, I believe that it's a nationalist party because Gorse is a nationalist. Uh, Swami Asin Anand. Sir, Nandan, I, I am staying on the issue, sir. All the nationalists. Yeah, you know, not, let that me, let point, me it off. sir. That point, See, for, ma, sir. Gaurav, sir, the, so Pakistan, Pakistan, is, Pakistan PFI के साथ खड़ा है और सब PFI को cover fire दे रहे हैं मतलब और RSS पे target कर रहे हैं. You know. डू 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 की पॉलिटिक्स और सर डू की पॉलिटिक्स बट डू की इंडिया अब पॉलिटिक्स डू की इंडिया अब पॉलिटिक्स इट्स अबाउट नेशनल सिक्योरिटी से इट्स अबाउट नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एंड राइट फॉर मी इंडिया कम फर्स्ट आई 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 आई
So and, and let me finish it off. And, and another thing is, I am telling you again and again that Pakistan ko amare ghar ke mamlo mein padne ki zarurat nahi hai. We know how to handle it. We have a constitution frame because India runs on the constitution. India doesn't run on the Bible, Quran, or Bhagavad Gita or some other book. India runs on Sir, the constitution. Sir, but the same the law, are the same PFI that. to whom That's several correct. people are giving cover fire wants to run, wants this country to run by Sharia law by no, no, 2047. Like, 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 Dr. Ajay Kumar would know that well because he was a very like, senior police officer in that part of the country where these raids have taken place and where action has taken place. Sir, I'm sorry I've run out of time on this part of the show. I've run out of time on the debate today. But coming days, we shall take up this story because India, India always has to come first. For joining me, Shrivasta, Dr. Ajay Kumar and Sohail, many thanks.